Season one of Bumper in Berlin is now available to stream on Peacock, and there's a lot of potential to continue to expand on Bumper's storyline and questions about his future. If we're lucky enough to get a second season, where do you want to see Bumper's storyline head? Well, I mean, we're, I think we're we're talking about that now, and I don't want to give any spoilers because <laughs> I, I do, we definitely have some ideas, but uh, yeah, I really hope that we get an official season two pickup because we only did six episodes and I feel like uh, we haven't been able to tell like his full story. Um, So yeah, I'm really excited to, to do more uh, of this series. And it's so fun to, to play this character again. You know, I wasn't in the third movie. Yeah. So this is like the pitch perfect movies changed, like truly changed my life. And so not being in the third movie, I felt like I never got to put a bow on the pitch perfect experience just for myself. And um, this, I leapt at the chance when Elizabeth Banks pitched me the idea. I'm like, that sounds so fun. And I would love to, to, um, to sort of put a bow on it. Yeah. Perfect segue to this next question. But, you know, this franchise has been so successful. What do you think continues to resonate with audiences? And did you feel any pressure carrying that torch as it made its way to television? No, no pressure. I just, uh, I just wanted it to feel big and not feel like a, just a little show and I think w- visually we definitely did a great job of, yeah. uh, of of making Berlin look as cool and as beautiful as it is and uh, tonally I, I wanted to keep the same tone as the Pitch Perfect movies but obviously uh, have it be a little more faster paced because it is a television show and you have to tell these stories in, in 30 minute chunks so um yeah, I was I was really excited to to get back in this world and and uh, and and do it all over again. Also, stepping into the shoes of executive producer, did anything surprise you about that experience stepping back into this universe? And have you found that the work that you've now done behind the camera has impacted the way that you've approached this character on screen? Yeah, I feel like as an executive producer, uh, I've been very lucky in my career. Um, I created the first thing that was ever that kind of popped off for me was Workaholics. And so I I created that show and just getting to be in the edit bay and see everything from like the writing process all the way to the finished product. I think it gives you a a more wider scope to sit back and go, oh, it's not just about me and these lines that I'm saying right now. It's like, if I can't go down that path because then that coverage won't work, it's uh, it, you really see more of the puzzle pieces and you're able to put it together in a, a little bit better of a fashion. Definitely. Now, Megan has also said in the past that it was really important to establish Bumper and these new characters and not rely on cameos. That said, if we're lucky enough to get a second season, is there a particular character that you would love to reappear in Bumper's life? Who would it be and why? I think, I mean, obviously I would have to say my girl Rebel. Uh, <laughs> You know, I love Rebel. She was, she's like a, a, a sister to me. She's like, I, I call her my work wife. So uh, we've, 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 the first time we worked together, it was on uh, Workaholics. And then we got the Pitch Perfect movies together. And then I was in her movie, Isn't It Romantic? And we've worked together a handful of times now. So uh, I truly love her. And, and if she could take a break from being an international movie star and, uh, come uh, come play on my little show. I, I, obviously, I, we'd be over the moon if she wanted to do that. 